To find the oxidation numbers for each element in NaH2PO4, this is sodium hydrogen phosphate, we'll use these general rules here. The first thing to notice that this is a neutral compound. It doesn't have a negative or a positive after it, so it's a neutral compound. And we have neutral compounds, the oxidation numbers, they always add up to zero. That's important. Sodium is in group one on the periodic table. That'll have a plus one oxidation number. Hydrogen, that's going to be plus one. And then phosphorus, we don't know looking at these rules here, but we do know that oxygen is going to be minus two with a few exceptions. So we're going to say X here for the phosphorus. So we have this information here. We know that all of this, we multiply these here, adds up to zero. So we can just make it an equation now. We can say one plus two times one, that's two, plus X, four times minus two is minus eight. That'll all equal zero. So we have X minus five equals zero. Add five to both sides. X equals a positive five. So the oxidation number on the phosphorus here in NaH2PO4, that's going to be positive five. And if we add all these numbers up, make sure we multiply by the subscripts here, all of this, the oxidation numbers in NaH2PO4, they'll add up to zero because it's a neutral compound. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each element here in sodium hydrogen phosphate. Thanks for watching.